Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you for joining me. Well, since the Australian dollar crashed through the 72.70 support area, the market rebound is holding now into the second consecutive day. However, as the market approaches that top side level around 73.65, a little bit of hesitancy is being seen here. But the indicator is still somewhat weak since that top side rejection around 74.40.65 area put a bit of a dent in the market to the bullish case. Is that I feel that further attests towards the top side should fail towards that 73.65 and look back towards the bottom side of the range around 72.75 to 72.25. In light of the euro surging on Wednesday, the market has found a bit of a topside resistance now around 110.90 to 111.15. Having reached near enough its objective down at 107.5085, let's see if the market can continue its topside move. Even though the euro is still somewhat negative, the dollar index, which measures the greenback strength against the task of six major currencies, Decline to 98.10, ahead of the February's U.S. Consumer Price Index, or CPI, which may print a slightly stronger reading than the previous month in January, around 7.5, with a forecast holding at 7.9. While the core CPI print, which excludes the volatile for energy components, is expected to be around 6.4 year on year versus a reading of 6 in January. Meanwhile, in also market participants are looking into next week's Federal Open Market Committee or the FOMC, March 15-16, where it's expected the Fed will hand down a 50, 50 or maybe a 25 basis point rate hike. So looking at the uh, market now, we're for the euro, we're waiting for the ECB Interest rate decision, which is widely expected to see rates on hold, could eventually see this market tumble away from the 110.90 to 111.15 and look back towards the bottom side around 110.15 to 109.2040. As you can see, the dolly yen still playing a little bit of a bullish case into the fourth consecutive day and look briefly towards that top side of the range around 116.25. I feel from here, this is possibly where the bears will take the ambush to a lower level of around 115.65 to 114.70 and reassess. If we do see a break above 116.35, it may trigger a stop loss short covering up towards 116.70 before turning around. A nice rebound for Sterling since that inverted hammer, and but we're still whacking waiting for this move through the midway point that is around 50 and that is if we see a break could see a further rise up to 132.10 to 132.80.90 i felt that the market has overextended itself so maybe the balls can take this challenge higher therefore that would put a little bit more leg room for sterling kiwi as i'm still waiting for that challenge to the top side seen around 194.20.50 it was quite a significant night for gold as the market plummeted and now looks towards the level of 1,960.70. A decisive break here would give further scope down to 1,940. With oil also staging a very significant drop, but respected the level of 100. It is from here that I'm waiting to see a break to support a further slide. But we could see a short-term coverage into tonight, up, back up to the top side of the range, roughly around 109.80 to 111.00 and reassess from there. Well, that wraps it for today. Thank you very much for joining me. Please join me for tomorrow morning for the start of the Friday session.